Three nothing ball game with the Reds in front of the Royals. We go to the top half of the fifth inning. Castellanos to lead things off. Jim Day's going to be taking us the rest of the way through this game. As Holland takes over on the mound. Um, I made a comment earlier tonight that uh, I guess uh, went out over the air that I am deeply ashamed of. Um, if I have hurt anyone out there, I can't tell you how much I say from the bottom of my heart, I'm so very, very sorry. I pride myself and think of myself as a, a man of faith. As there's a drive in a deep left field by Castellanos, it will be a home run. And so that'll make it a 4 nothing ball game. I don't know if I'm going to be putting on this headset again. I don't know if it's going to be for the Reds. I don't know if it's going to be for my bosses at Fox. I want to apologize for the people who signed my paycheck for the Reds, for Fox Sports Ohio, for the people I work with, for anybody that I've offended here tonight. I can't begin to tell you how deeply sorry I am. That is not who I am uh, and never has been. And I'd like to think maybe I could have some people that, uh, that could back that up. I am very, very sorry, and I beg for your forgiveness. Jim Dale, take you the rest of the way home. It happened in the top of the third inning of the Peoria Sports Complex in a ground ball by Jonathan India. Tatis reached to his right and threw the runner out in a close play at first base. That's when things got interesting, and not in a good way. Tatis started walking back toward the Padres' dugout, even though there was only one out. He was met by manager Jace Tingler and a trainer and took himself out of the game. And there's a deep drive into left field by Castellanos, and that will be a home run, so that'll make it a 3-2 game. Well, we're going to tell you about a great man, and it's a loss for the Royals family. This is George Gorman, who passed away at the age of 96. He served our country in World War II. He went to the University of Kansas, and so did his son, Pat Gorman, who's been working for the Royals in the clubhouse for 26 years. Wow. And that was Pat's father. Well, that's a great life, 96 years. And Pat, just like his dad, went to KU. He also went to Bishop Ward High School. There's a drive into deep left center field, and there's never a great time to eulogize someone during the broadcast so we apologize for the timing but our hearts go out to Pat who's just been a tremendous loyal employee to the Royals for 26 years and his wife Katie as she lost her father-in-law and daughters Abby and Caroline who lost their grandfather but they had him for 96 years wow. sorry for your loss Breaking ball destroyed. Oh, Castellanos clubs it to the bullpen. More two-out thunder. Another two-run bomb and a 4 nothing Reds lead. That's a new career high, 28 homers for Castellanos. What does Barry Larkin say? You have to try to get underneath the curveball. Troy and Pete Walker sitting on the bench, and Salcedo gets a strikeout. And of course, Pete Walker was unfortunately arrested early Friday morning for driving under the influence, and he made a statement apologizing for his actions. Obviously, a very significant situation. Charlie Montoyo, his quote is: "He said the Blue Jays and I are aware of what happened, the incident involving Pete Walker, but we're." Still gathering information out of respect for the process. That's all we're going to say right now. And the Blue Jays, as an organization, have taken the same path. So, unfortunately, a very significant situation with Pete Walker, very highly respected pitching coach. But the Blue Jays and the organization are going to wait until all of the information is gathered. So, he is continuing to serve as the pitching coach and 
He's been here today watching these Blue Jays pitchers so far. Three pitchers today, and we're scheduled to see Thomas Hatz, Julian Merriweather, and maybe Anthony Castro throughout the course of this game. That looper, that's going to drop for a base hit. Castellanos reached out and poked it into right field. Now he picks up a two out base hit. Castellanos has been aboard twice now with a walk and a single. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. To the plate. Oh, man. That ball is crushed. It's high and it is really far. And I think if the wind was blowing out, it would have went over the tiki bar. But it's a home run for. Our senior NFL insider with us. What more can you tell us uh, following this news here that Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins died this morning in South Florida? Randy, it's a tragic story out of South Florida. Dwayne Haskins was down in South Florida training with the Steelers quarterbacks, wide receivers, running backs. And. Again, we'll see the police reports, but my understanding is he got hit by a car, got out of the car along the highway, uh, got clipped was the way it was described to me. Again, that is unofficial because I've not seen the police report just yet. But however you want to break it down, it's tragic. Dwayne Haskins, 24 years old, down in South Florida, uh, trying to train for his future, which um, obviously now um, gets snuffed out way before it should have. And it's a situation where the Steelers now got the news this morning. The Washington football team got the news this morning. Uh, they're preparing to release statements here in a short period of time. Uh, there are other teammates down there who are aware of the incident. And it's a tragic circumstance here in South Florida that a young man, 24 years old, would have turned 25 next month, uh, loses his life. And so... Castellanos and he hits one in the air left center field that's deep going back is Pache it is gone two run home run for Castellanos he had a nice welcoming yesterday but today it's even better and the Phillies jump out to a two nothing lead when you talk about the power with Castellanos to all fields it's just a pitch down and away from him. he just went out and got it which will sit vacant here at Citizens Bank Park honoring uh, those who paid the ultimate sacrifice Castellanos rips one to deep left field it is gone solo home run for Castellanos He's hit in five straight. It's one nothing Bills. Here in Philadelphia, we in the Atlanta Braves organization in Valley Sports lost a beloved member of the organization this morning. Casey Motter, who's been the longtime PA announcer for the Braves, both at Turner Field and Truist Park, passed away unexpectedly this morning. And our thoughts and prayers go out to Casey's family, his wife, Debbie. He was such a wonderful and enthusiastic supporter of the Braves, and he made you feel so welcome and so lucky to be a part of the baseball experience in Atlanta. Yeah, you know, it was a tough blow when we heard this morning. And he was a guy that I think we can all agree you'd see him right outside the booth, smiling, laughing. He'd give you a big hug. You know, he even did, you know, the, the come out, uh, you know, for our kids' teams. And, you know, he had such an amazing voice and was such an amazing man. And, you know, I told you, that was, that was heartbreaking this morning we heard about that. Yeah, it won't be the same at Truist Park. I loved hearing Casey's hello, baseball fans. Yeah. Uh, turn and say hello to your neighbor. High five and a go Braves. He was so much a part of the fabric of the experience of Braves baseball in Atlanta. And again, we will miss Casey Motter dearly. Wonderful voice. Uh, hopefully that golden microphone in hand watching the Braves and guiding him to victory tonight. So Casey, Debbie, yeah. your entire family, our thoughts and prayers are with you tonight. Yeah, Debbie family, we're praying for y'all. That one's hit well out to right center field. Duvall's going back to the scoreboard. It is gone! 
Three run opposite field home run for Castellanos. It's his first one in the month of June, and it comes on the final day of the month. 7 1 Phillies. Woof!